What's good, family man? It is your boy Ma back at it again with another video with everybody's mom. I don't know what you got going. Is this right? Do y'all want Ma to make a TikTok account, man? Cause y'all y'all be asking her about certain social media. I can make her a TikTok. TikTok. Well, she got a TikTok, but I could like tell her unfollow all the people she follow and actually do TikToks and you know I show her the ropes. But today y'all we're doing ten guilty teenager uh, convicts react. <laughs> Reacting to their life sentencing, bro. I cannot talk, man. Y'all already know somebody that ain't here to grind and not stop. Man, I don't know how this is going to go. What you think the youngest age is going to be on here? Well, you probably won't know the age, but what you think? It's going to... Teenagers, I'm going to say... I'm say 13. I was going to say 14. So, yeah. It might be a 12, because you know the younger they... I don't know. These generations is getting out of hand. I don't know. Let's see. I'm scared. Oh, they got life sentences. They're no getting out. I mean, no, you should have thought about that, Padre. Scared of return. I agree with the family. I hope you die in prison as well. Oh, oh. I ain't gonna laugh at that. I don't know what the situation is. I'll give my life for Austin. Yeah, bro. Yeah, I feel as in on so many people in the comment section though, like, like, you know, like sentences and stuff. That's like what that. I'm saying. Like I can't laugh at nothing because I really don't know the situation. You know how some people be like, "Oh, you deserve what you get." I can't say because I really don't know what the situation no, was. No, no, you know, it could have been. Some of them kids do. I know. So that's what I'm saying. I can't. I I don't know which one is like. Genuine, because you know a lot of them cry because they don't want to get into trouble. You know they don't want the sentence, yeah. but they be happy that they've been and killed the person that they going for. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So that's what I said. I can't really. It's sad. But... It's time for us to learn today. Us. Uh, us. When you're a teenager, your life has barely began. You're still learning okay. how to live your life. Well, imagine having the rest of your life torn away from you and spending the rest of your life in a prison cell. Imagine your reaction to the moment that that judge takes away your life in the bang of a gavel. Well, we're going to see what that is exactly. And you killed your mom. Like. Oh, oh well, I... Teens reacting Look. to life sentences. This first convict, known as Nicholas Lindsay, was actually too young to receive a life sentence when he was first handed into the police. But upon his resentencing, he was met with life behind bars. When the judge reads out this sentence, Nicholas just sits care. there, grinning, showing zero lack oh, of remorse. Oh, he's grinning. Never mind. Plans. His mother walks out and just says it is what it is. There's no indication that this type of violent behavior will stop. Criminal history and odds of rehabilitation must be considered before life without parole is imposed. The court has significant doubts about the defendant's potential for rehabilitation. Bro, this is lawyer. This is lawyer. Yeah, let me tell you. She might as well not be there. She's probably, uh, if he don't care, she's not going to care. Oh. But she's probably like, uh, uh. One number one they give you. Yeah, the ones they give you, they assign, and well, you know when you go to jail, he probably ain't pay no money, money for it. You know what I'm saying? Like you pay money, you it depends on how much money you putting out. Them lawyers they'll fight for you, but I forgot what they call them. Not a district attorney, probably, probably district, but they don't be like well, no. nothing because a lot of them be students. Uh huh. And they go and they try to. Help you out. You know what I'm saying? They don't. Mm -mm. Rotation. His mom said little when it was over. It's what the judge ordered, so that's what it is. It is what it is. But Lindsay actually grinned when the judge read his ruling. The lack of remorse not lost on David Crawford's daughter, Amanda. Justice was served, and I'm glad it's over. The mom acted like he deserved it. He's an animal as he sat there smiling. This next teen receives his sentence for starting a fire that killed an innocent teenager. A stupid mistake which cost an innocent oh. life and ruined another. So you can tell by the way this teen is reacting that he completely regrets his stupid decision and even starts praying as he cries. His mistake is one to learn from. Sure, that there is something so significant, uh, intentional, and immediately starting another fire in the living room. I agree with the family. I hope you die in prison as well. No. The judge said that? Oh, no, I hope he did. <laughs> 
Simon Shoemaker is someone we've covered before, but this story is so intense that I thought I'd share it again. Dylan is being sentenced here for the murder of a sweet innocent baby. He killed his girlfriend's child, and when the court day comes, he tries to plead that he- Bro, he ain't like he was the one with the postpartum. He killed the girlfriend's child. Yeah. Not the girlfriend. The child, their baby. That's, that's, it ain't even, they, I don't even know if it's their baby, it's just his girlfriend baby, but still. I mean, that's some, ooh, no, go ahead, play it. What you gonna say? Just say I, it. That, that just makes me mad. Like, you take you take your frustrations out on a innocent child. That child didn't even ask to be here, even if it was his child. True. He didn't mean to kill the child, despite the fact that the baby was beaten to death. His plot to win over the jury didn't work, and he is serving his life sentence. Years to life. I can't take that what was done. I wish I could. I would give my life for Austin. <laughs> I loved him a lot. Austin Smith was completely defenseless. That's a, that's a, that's a given. But there were other dynamics at work there. Austin, I, I really did it. I really think I did it. I didn't need to hurt him. He was actually caught by the judge for actually trying to text his mother saying that he hopes the jury will feel sorry for him and that he's going to cry on purpose to try and lower his sentence. And on July 23rd, 2013, in a phone call to your mother from a holding... That's literally, that's literally what she was just talking about. Because you know that they record that, right? They just be, you know what I mean? Like, when you call from prison, they, they record everything. Everything. Yeah. So... Sometimes when they be like, this is, uh, it may be recorded. I thought sometimes they don't be recording. No, yeah. they be recording because they have to use, because sometimes people slip up and tell, you know what I'm saying, what they did because they thinking that they can't get in trouble. Yeah. I got a quote from the court reporter. I am a 16-year-old blonde. Probably all I have to do is cry in front of a jury and they're going to feel sorry for me. He probably would have did like something. He probably would get him much time if he did. He's saying that. that. He is actually in court for murdering his teacher. The teacher was actually only 24 years old, which is extremely young for a teacher. She was just starting her life up when it was taken away from her in a blink of an eye. Philip was sentenced to life, and here's his reaction. Philip Chisholm, on indictment number 2013, 1446-001. The jury, having returned a verdict of guilty, of murder in the first degree, on deliberate premeditation and extreme atrocity and cruelty, you will hearken to the sentence the court has awarded against you. The court, having duly considered your offenses, it is hereby ordered that you be committed to the Department of Youth Services until the age of 21, and furthermore committed to the Massachusetts Correctional Institution at Cedar Junction for the period of not less than 25 years and not more than life and that you stand committed in execution of this sentence. Jodi Arias is the first female on this list. So she he can get 25 years and get out? Well, it depends on what he go through while he in there. So either you get out, you do 25 years, 25 years plus, you got the possibility of getting out. 25 years is your, is your lease. Life So you got 25 years maximum. to life? Yeah. Oh. So it, it, it depends on how you do when you're in jail. Because you can go up for parole. She had a little sympathy. Not real. I mean, it's not really, it's, but she had, But if he got parole, she yeah, had because, a little but sympathy. See, but see, this is the thing. Like, you could get in trouble. I don't care if it's contraband. I don't care if you get into a fight. E each one of those things is adding time onto you. Oh, okay. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. At some point in time between now and the 25 years, because you got to serve your 25. Mm -hmm. So between now and your 25... You can do anything. Somebody can come pick a fight with you. There's more, there's more time in your books. Yes. Understand. Being sentenced for the murder of her ex-boyfriend. Her boyfriend was actually famous for saying these disturbing words to his friend. Don't be surprised if one of these Sundays I don't show up and you find me dead in some place. Well, that's exactly what happened before she was sentenced to life in prison. She actually killed her ex-boyfriend, just like he said she would. But I had to fight for my life, just like I did on June 4th, 2008, because I realized how selfish it would be for me to escape accountability for this mess that I created. I have two brothers, two sisters, several nieces and nephews, a mom, a dad, Why you kill eight aunts, nine uncles, over 20 cousins that I've grown up with, as well as countless friends all of whom would suffer greatly if I took my own life or if I allocated and begged for the death penalty and I got it. 
The most important thing I want to say is that I am very sorry for the enormous pain that I caused the people that love Travis. I'm horrified because of what I did, and I wish there was some way I could take it back. Court fine. The defendant has no prior criminal history. The defendant has family and community support. The defendant has mental health issues. The court has also considered the defendant's childhood background. The court finds the mitigation presented was not sufficiently substantial to call for leniency and that a natural life sentence is appropriate. It is ordered. The defendant shall be incarcerated in the Department of Corrections for the rest of her natural life with no possibility of parole. Say this teenager free. No parole. So she's going to die there. What do you mean just your natural life? She might not live to be a hundred. But what she do? What she do? Old life, honey, honey, honey. Years of life. Change. I mean, my whole thing is, no, a hundred years is. I mean, the if, if they dope. say life sentence, that means you not going home. You're gonna die there. Bro, I just can't imagine me sitting in a, a cell block for however long for the rest that's of my I'm life. That's what I'm saying. That's why I say. That's why you see a lot of people kill themselves. Because they like, well, why am I about to drag my life out yeah, for this? Yeah, you will mark me on the list of that. That is your life sentence. Freaks out after he is sentenced. The defendant freaks out, cries in court, and begs the officer. I mean, young man, these folks be doing this stupid crime, like killing folks, and they think they're supposed to have some sympathy for them. <laughs> Fernando Salgado begs to get to go home. This next <laughs> team was sentenced to life in prison after he was like okay. robbed and killed an elderly lady. The robbery apparently went wrong, and while trying to escape, the team shot and killed the woman who was completely. Is he going to sleep in there? The yes. team just sits and smiles as his life is being taken away from him. He's also seen actually Why falling asleep at one point during the sentencing. With a chuckle, a laugh, and yawn after yawn. David Moses acted strangely at his sentencing. This this just makes me mad. You know what? He might he might have took something before he went out there. What do you mean he might have took something? They they got ways of getting a hold of stuff that will just kill them. Oh. This morning, appearing to fall asleep in his chair, not once, but twice, suffered physical, verbal, and emotional abuse growing up leading to a lengthy criminal history, including sexually assaulting his sister, then a developmentally disabled cousin, and seven other children while he was in a group home. Bro, while Sessions' his family him. said they hoped to one day see her again in heaven, Moses' attorney asked the judge for hope as well, <laughs> in the form of a possibility for parole. To give him that hope for the next 25 years. Look. You done did all this and you... I mean, he doing his job as a lawyer. Yeah. You know, he's, he's supposed to defend all the way to the end. But I know they didn't ask for him thing. to get some type of parole behind all... I'm, I'm not saying that he deserved a life sentence, but... You, 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 you touched on your sister. Then you do say the cousin. Right. I mean, it's something mentally wrong with him. They're going to have to put him in some... They're going to have to get him some medicine, and they're going to have to try to send him to some other but places. But can't you be an um, attorney and be like, like, you know you, you know he did it? But, but your job is to defend him no matter what. Oh, wow. You, you got to make them believe. That's the part of you being a good attorney. But if you just... You 100% know he did it. You may do know, but your job is to defend but how would you that feel, person. But how would you feel as an attorney? No, he did it, and he get away with well, it. Well, you the one that can say, I accept this case or I don't. Okay. But some people just do it for the money. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. A lot of people... When you go when you go in there as an attorney, that's, that's basically your whole thing. You do it for the money. No, no matter what the situation is, gotta help your him. job is to defend your client. Okay. Uh, that he may have an opportunity. Oh, I couldn't do nothing like that. I'd be like, be bro, you did it, bro. I used to want to be said, one until I started seeing Moses people late, like lose their like case. And then when I seen them lose their case, like I, I literally, I literally seen a, a person that lost their case was like waiting outside. Like, you know, because they had another court date and they was losing. You know what I'm saying? So he waited outside until that lawyer came and he started shooting at him. 
So I said, nope, I'm going to change that. I don't want to be a lawyer because they might come after me. <laughs> Without the possibility of parole. And that's in the penitentiary for the rest of his life. TJ Lane was convicted. Throw the book at the end. Throw the book. The whole book. Which makes him a very young serial killer. He has absolutely no root more. Wait, this the one that did the show? No. This TJ Lane, he did the, oh, I think he was in the school. And that's in the penitentiary for the rest of his life. I think it was the TJ Lane was convicted for killing three of his fellow high school students, yeah. which makes him a very young serial in, killer. Uh, he has absolutely no remorse for his crimes, and he was, Man, of course, sentenced know. to life in prison. Y'all let us know what you want. What, where, where did this uh, shooting occur with him? I don't know, but I remember, I remember seeing him on the news. It was like, yeah. what, 2010, 11, 12? That's why, ooh, ooh. Shaking the whole camera. Ain't Sorry. Is that the one that, I, that's what I'm trying to think. Not the that? one who did the church. The, the one who did the church, like, what, 2016? No, not him. I'm talking about. I think he was the one with the school. No, the other one did the school. The one with the trench coat. Mm, he I walked mean, in there with the trench coat. I, can't I don't know. Think you remember was... one that was in Jackson at Pearl, Pearl River High School. That was, that was, you know, that was a big one. The major, major one. That's when I was on the news too a long time ago. I can't even see. I don't remember that. I remember one was in California. And then I remember another one. I can't even remember where that one was at. Uh-huh. I've been texting. Let me see the name Texas of it. Texas Florida. Have a I think it began with a C. Parole. And when he was being sentenced, he wore a white t-shirt with the word killer, killer painted across it, showing how sick and twisted this teenager really is. Nick is a very kind and loving. Why would you want to hurt him? You, you don't know kind. You're evil. I will have to eventually forgive you. Otherwise, you will haunt me. You will never, ever be in my thoughts after this. Never. Well, my family will move on, not you. You have ruined your life, not to mention Adams. Even gave you a ride. Nick, even gave you a ride from school. That someone tried to kill five people, and all they did was go, want to go to school. TJ also escaped prison a year after his sentencing with another inmate who was actually captured. 19-year-old T.J. Lane escaped from the Allen County Correctional Center in Lima, Ohio, and a massive surgery. I remember it, because you remember they called it, and it was like, I think they uh put all the kids on lockdown or something like that. You remember? You remember? Medicine. No, I'm, I'm trying to think. Yeah, this, this is the shooting. That, this was in Ohio. Okay. You remember, you remember they called the and they, were asked, yeah. they were asked about it, they were like, all right, is Kimal good? Which one was living in Ohio? They were like, is he is he good? Was that his school or anything? And I was, I was like, nah, that wasn't his school. Right. I'm trying to think. Uh, what was the name? I want to say Madison, but it's not. It's, I don't think it's Madison. Let me see. Lima, Ohio, and a massive search is underway for Lane and 45-year-old Clifford Operud. Lane was serving three life sentences for the February 2012 murders of three students in Chardon High School, east of Cleveland. You say, see, Witnesses you say said Charlie. he just walked into the crowded say, cafeteria that morning and started shooting. He was just dead silent the entire time. I didn't say anything before. This next teen actually killed his great grandmother with a hatchet with one of his friends, which is extremely disturbing. The team was, of course, sentenced to life in prison and responds by saying that the news liked to twist a lot of things around. He was still sentenced and found guilty. He showed varying emotions in court, at times wiping tears from his face. Then Barbo smirked and shook his head when the prosecutor spoke. He read only a few words from his own statement. There's a line going around said by the news, DA, many other people, them, uh, Cold, heartless, care, careless killer. That's, that's not true. <laughs> Instead of starting his freshman year in high school, 14-year-old Antonio Barbo will go to prison. This what next video is very famous for showing a teenager who almost starts laughing when he is him. sentenced for killing a 23-year-old. The mother of the victim is in tears and is so choked up she can't even speak to the jury as his sister has to stand in for her. The only words the teen has to say for himself are these. He has a mother shed tears for her son, shot and killed by right. I've lost laughter and love. I no longer have the hope of having grandchildren. I've lost the enjoyment of holidays and birthdays and of everyday life. Right addressed the court showing no remorse. I just want to tell y'all. I'll be home soon. I'll be Keon. I love my family. What? Wow. 
way to a Did he say that? He said it. Bro, y'all, I don't know. This is a crazy video. This is 20 minutes. This is, wow, that's crazy. This was a crazy video. Do I'll, be, I'll be out soon. <laughs> he got a life sentence. Right? I ain't laughing. I'm just saying, like. He sounds stupid. I'll be home soon. R.P. Kiana. Man, this got to be stopped, man. <laughs> now that took it out here. Man, but other than that, man, y'all know what to do, man. Please. Like, comment, subscribe, turn on post notifications, subscribe to all three channels. Follow me and shout out both on Instagram. Both of them, man, we out of here.